welcome back. Um, in the shop today, and, and I found a piece of oak uh, squared off, and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. And in turn, I've not done oak much, hardly at all. Um, so it was uh, uh, interesting to uh, get the final result um, once I started. It's a, it's a very pretty wood. I was really pleased with the outcome. Uh, turned a, turned a good size bowl. Uh, out of this uh, slab that I found and I wasn't real sure what uh, kind of wood it was until I started cutting into it and I saw the saw the redness of it and uh, very distinct um, so let's uh, take a look at what uh, what we turned and uh, get to it yeah. this is the bottom uh, bottom side of the bowl obviously and uh, as you can see the uh, um, a little bit of um, knot or rot detail up in here. Uh, I had a void right in here and I filled it up with uh, uh, red epoxy. A um, little bit dark red it looks like. Uh, but it filled in very nice and sanded up. Um, very pleased with the result. Uh, got some very nice uh, knot action here uh, to show. Hey there buddy. Okay the finished product on the on the main side, the bowl side here, and as you can see, had a little bit of uh, epoxy feel uh, right along through here, um, and here too to fill the void. Uh, looks like I got a little few little air bubbles there, but uh, all in all, very pleased with the result. Uh, that'll strengthen the bowl up quite a bit too. Um, but uh, the completed completed bowl finished it with tongue oil and uh, it's roughly 10 inches uh, wide and about three inches or so deep. So good size bowl, good, uh, good tabletop uh, piece. And um, so anyway, let's uh, uh, show you how we did it.
Died with the red down in that knot hole there. Uh, that's the second pour right there. Um, just filled along this crack here. Any vo any voids that uh, may have come out while we're we're turning, uh, it'll just strengthen the wood anyway. And I think it'll give a nice little touch once we uh, get this dry. It's almost there. Once we get that dry, we'll put it back on the lathe and um, scrape some of that down a little bit and then just sand it and uh, polish it up. And then we'll be ready for um, finish. So uh, we'll let that dry a little bit more and uh, get back to it. <laughs> process and, and got all the voids filled and uh, with the epoxy and dyed it uh, red. Uh, it's pretty dark so it, it just kind of came out uh, almost black uh, but it filled in the holes and should strengthen it up pretty good also. Um, we uh, finished it with tongue oil and um, very pleased with the outcome. Very pretty red oak. Really nice grain detail. So, very pleased with it. So, uh, anyway, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you hope you learned something or enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up there. Feel free to subscribe and uh, hit that bell so that you know when another video is going to be on board. And uh, anyway, y'all have a, a great day and uh, stay safe and stay healthy and uh, uh, hopefully we'll get back on the road for shows and stuff and hopefully we'll see you there so anyway y'all have a great week and uh, god bless <laughs>